Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today I wanna to talk about my current favorite spring blushes that are getting me in the mood for spring. I've already filmed this video, and the mic went out. Second time is the luckiest time. All of these blushes are like super happy blushes. When I think of these shades, I think of like instant happy faces. The very first blush I wanna talk about is the one that I'm wearing. It brings such an orangey, bright smile to my face. Well, you know, I wouldn't want my smile to be orange. Refi's Cream Blush in Citrine. As you're seeing, I am doing cheek swatches of all of these. So not just finger swatches, we're doing cheek swatches. So you can see how these blushes look on bare skin because they actually look really nice with just no makeup and then mascara. Citrine is like a really nice statement orangey blush without going full orange and like out of your comfort zone. So it's like a deep burnt peach with a little bit more red in there. And it's literally the only blush I have on today. And normally I'll apply my cream blushes before my concealer, except I forgot to apply my blush until after I had already set my concealer with powder. And I'm happy to report that Citrine goes beautifully over set makeup. Next, I'm gonna talk about my favorite blush currently to give you that sort of sun-kissed glow without the sun damage. That is a Merit's Flush Balm in the new shade Persimmon. I love Merit Flush Balms. The reason why I love Persimmon so much is it does. It gives you that kind of really nice sun-kissed uh, look to the face and it I feel like it would be the perfect blush to just bring on like a beach vacation to give you that kind of false sun-kissed look. And if you're not familiar with Merit's Flush Balms, they are a little bit sheer and glowy. So if you're looking for a cream blush that sits it on the skin and kind of to give you a satin finish, this is not gonna be the one for you. Neither is Citrine. It does end up, you know, staying glowy. Both stay glowy without having your hair like stick to your face, which is really important to me right now since I had like six inches chopped off, not by my request. I'm so bitter and I can't stop talking about it in every video. <laughs> Merit's Persimmon, just on, you know, a hand, but you just saw it on the cheeks and it does. It gives you a beautiful sun-kissed look. Next, we have Milk Makeup's Bionic Blush in the shade Teleport. If you're looking for a like neon vibrant peach shade, Teleport is gonna be your gal. And one thing that I love about the Milk Makeup Bionic Blushes is the product left on just the tip of this little tube is kind of enough to cover one entire cheek. So you get a lot of use out of this and you're about to see it on my cheeks, but it gives you such a beautiful neon peach look to the face. And again, this does give you a more natural to glowy finish on the face. It doesn't really set to complete matteness. You know, keeps the life and the glow around. I really love this shade for uh, spring and just like bright blushes are just, I'm really into them right now, especially pinks, which we're about to get into, which is totally shocking because I've never liked pink in my life. Huda Beauty's Cheeky Tint in Coral Cutie. This, I mean, I don't know if you guys, if the camera's picking up, it should. I mean, the amount that I paid for this camera, I definitely should. <laughs> Pick up on that shift, please, hello. It is a little bit sheerer, not as sheer as the Merit Flush Balms, which I don't mind a sheer cream blush or cream product. I don't think that it makes it uh, any less like valuable. You can build up sheer products, and as long as they're formulated beautifully and they use really great ingredients, the value is there. So just because something is sheer doesn't mean that you're overpaying for it. I really do like the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tints, but Coral Cutie, is just the perfect balance between coral and pink. And as you can see, ooh, it just gives you that beautiful like baby doll look to the face. Next is a newly added, we're still struggling with migraines over here. It was prescribed Imitrex, which helps with the pain, but it doesn't help with the brain fog. So I apologize for my words not coming out correctly every single time. In Cosmetics, So Soft Blushes, they added three shades to the line. My current favorite, especially for spring and like a happy look to the face, Strawberry. Look how bright she is. I feel like if you muddled up strawberries and you kind of put them on your cheeks and then wiped them off, this would be what was left. Now, if you are looking for a highly, highly pigmented cream blush, the M Cosmetics So Soft blushes are extremely pigmented, so be careful. And a little goes a long way, just that one swatch, as you can see, really had a lot 
of coverage, as in like ground cover, as well as coverage. The So Soft blushes give you a little coverage as well as more of a satin to matte finish. So if you're looking for a cream blush to give you a satin to matte finish with you know, very like high pigmentation and coverage, the So Soft blushes, definitely check them out. All right, next is a brand that's new to me and it is Gen C. This is their Clean Sheen Cheek and Lip Color and the shade is Dragon Fruit. Now I have not tried these on my lips. I don't know, I'm not like really interested in that. And you know what I mean? Like I don't buy a product going, oh, it's cheeks and lips. That's what I'm looking for, not my thing. Dragon Fruit is like a beautiful, neon Barbie baby doll cheek, pink cheek. You gotta be careful, a little bit goes a very, very long way. This will give you happy cheeks in like two seconds. Now this does dry down to more of a satin finish, but there's a tad bit of glow there. Next pink blush is a surprise for me because I really thought I was gonna hate the entire line of these. And I do have a review and a cheek swatch video of all of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wands. But my favorite out of the four is such a surprising shade. It's Pink Pop. I can't believe it. Now this is less extreme vibrant. It gives you more of like a neon um, peach look. Here we go. But there is more pink than peach right there. And the great thing about these is that this mechanism actually locks unlike the liquid highlighter packaging. So even though I hate this packaging, I feel like it wastes a lot of product because this I didn't even squeeze out any more on my hand or for on my cheek with the cheek swatch, it doesn't leak. So I'm very happy to say that after having these blushes for quite some time and using them several times, not just this shade, but the other shades, they don't leak. And these do dry down to completely matte. So that's again, something you're looking for in a cream blush, definitely out of all of these, I would go for the So Soft blushes or the Charlotte Tilbury um, matte, matte Beauty Blush Wands. All right, the powder blush that I wanna feature is one that I couldn't put down and honestly kind of made me realize how much I'm loving pink blush right now. It is the Jones Road, the best blush in pop. Now I love this pink. I feel like it's a very wearable bright pink. And I remember watching Bobbi Brown do makeup on people on TV when I was little and she would always use the most beautiful pink blushes. And I remember even thinking when I was little, man, I wish I liked pink cause that's so pretty. So pop really is a nostalgic shade for me in my mind. And it's very classic Bobbi Brown because she really likes to bring life to the face. Just I feel like is iconic. And I feel like this should definitely be a cult favorite down the line uh, over the years. But her, the best blushes, great formula, incredible pigmentation. So, you know, just a little, little dab will do you. This does have a little bit of shimmer in there, but honestly, overall, it comes off pretty, you know, matte with just like a tad bit of glow. Like there's a difference in satin-ish, you know, finish and then like matte with a bit of glow from shimmer. Well, those are my favorite blushes for spring right now. And honestly, just to bring some happiness and life to the face, which all I have right now is face because all of my hair is gone. So we're just gonna focus on and bring in the happiness you know, to the cheeks. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below what blushes you lean towards when you just want like some happiness and life to your face. It doesn't even have to be just for spring. I mean, honestly, these would be beautiful in the dead of winter. So there are no rules in makeup you can wear neon pink blush in winter. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like, take two seconds. It helps me out so much and lets YouTube know that you enjoy my content. And if you haven't already, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. All right.